Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel for a current household. I wasn't planning on starting right here, but you know what? Here we are. This is the story of my life. This is how Sims treats me. <laughs> uh, so as you can see, we're having a bit of an issue. We are in Aurora Skies, so we have this little, this little guy here, and it's three in the morning, and we have a fire because we left it on like an idiot. So, whoopsie. Anywho, um, so I haven't done a current household, I feel like, in a long time. Maybe I have and I just don't remember. It's, it's very possible. Uh, but I just, I literally, literally, just today earlier started this. Uh, where are we even at? We are on week two, day four. So yeah, I just started this earlier today and it is about 11 p.m. at night. I played for a little bit and then I just kind of sat down and was like, I'm going to film because I need to film. I want to film, but I also want to play my current household that I just started. Uh, so let me tell you a little bit about her. Her name is Felicia, Felicia Ellsworth. She likes pop music, sushi, and the color lilac. She is also an Aquarius. She's flirty, a natural cook, a gatherer, a snob, and ambitious. She has a little lifetime wish to be swimming in cash. Uh, we just got 3,000 simoleons because we went to the casino. She's been pretty freaking broke. Uh, she is, like it said, a bit of a snob. She's not worried about anything but, you know, her job, herself, and men. And as you can see, there's a man in the house, and you guys will probably recognize him, Mr. Jeremy Akers, because he was in my um, Black Widow challenge. So yeah, I placed out a bunch of Sims like I did in Black Widow challenge. So uh, yeah, I'm not very creative when it comes to changing up the Sims, but <laughs> it happens, you know? Um, so like I said, oh, he's also married. So <laughs> story progression, you know, he's married and she kind of woohooed with him. Actually, she risky woohooed with him. So we'll have to see how that goes. And as you can see, it was her first kiss and also her first romance. And I feel like, oh, I was going to tell you her job. Her job is modeling. She is a level three in the modeling career. And she's kind of all about that. Like, that's all she's worried about is herself and her career because she wants to be the top of her modeling career and actually, you know, do something like get really big and famous from it. Um, but she's also not, obviously, you know, she's not denying men, but she doesn't want anything serious, obviously. I mean, she went after a married man. She's not looking for something serious. She's not ready to start a family. She's not ready for any of that, but I thought it would be kind of interesting if I uh, just had her when she woohoos just to risk you woohoo with everybody, and if something happens, something happens, and if it doesn't, it doesn't, because you know a random pregnancy can really, can really change up the game a little bit, so that's kind of what we've been doing. She really, like I said, just she just, she has a, a little bit of a romance with him. She, he's married to Angelica. I'm not quite sure who that is. Is it her? No. Oh, okay. Her right here, Angelica Akers. So he's married to her. Um, we've got a couple of friends that are co-workers. Oh my gosh, if you guys hear that, that's my dog. Uh, we also have our boss who is our friend. And then this guy was randomly generated through story progression. This guy, you guys have seen these. Oh, and of course you guys know Reed Knight, but these guys are just Sims that I always place down in the town just to kind of fill up the world and, you know, just to have men in the world and things like that. These Sims were also generated and they're pretty, they're pretty attractive Sims because I usually make them uh, so that we have like the Ben offspring instead of like random vanilla face Sims. So yeah, I don't know what I'm telling you guys that, but I'm definitely going to be playing a day in the life of this crazy girl. And I plan on having her try to find another romantic interest. Um, but we're currently in the middle of an intense fire. So um, the alarm went off. So I'm hoping somebody will come, but we're going to see if she can extinguish, extinguish the flames because it doesn't look like Jeremy's going to help us. He's just going to stand there like an idiot. And you know, he's not going to help. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks a lot. We're going to tell him that he needs to leave because obviously he's not helpful. Are, are you here yet? Okay. They're coming now. Like, hello, our entire house is about to burn down. We do not have the money for this. And it's depressing because we have this small, tiny house. <laughs> That's her goal, though, is to be swimming in cash. Like, she wants to live in the biggest house that Aurora Sky has to offer. She wants to, you know, she wants to be good to go. Not have to worry about anything. Uh, three is a crowd for romance. What? Okay. 
I don't know why that pops up sometimes. Um, now we have a mess to take care of. Why don't we go ahead and put out the fire? You guys should be more careful next time. Yeah, well, you know, we were busy trying to woohoo and I forgot to put out the fire and things happen. But we're going to tell Jeremy, I guess we'll let him eat. I mean, <laughs> should we? We're going to let her finish off her, her sleep because she does have work in five hours. Um, but Jeremy, we're going to tell you to leave after this because you were literally of no help to me. You just kind of let me put out the fire. Oh, he's going to go back to sleep as well. Well, I'm glad that you are such a huge help to me. Uh, I placed down a couple of lots. It appears our town is full. I know, I know. As you guys can see, there's two different festival lots. Uh, one of these, this one, I believe is the one that like a sim guru made and it's on the sims3.com and this one was something that somebody else made and I thought it was kind of interesting to have two of them because this is kind of a small lot and looks like the car pool is going to be here in an hour um it's kind of a small lot but I just like to see what other people do and it's a little bit different there's like different things we can do like over here they had placed like a fortune thingy and there's just like a random stuff that you know there's more things than there is here what is going on here oh my goodness girl what are you doing Oh my god. Okay, so they have like something something going on and I'm kind of curious like they're just about that life. Okay, you need to calm down. Go ahead and answer your phone. Let's see who that is before we go to work. Um, is it anybody important? It doesn't seem like it is. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and actually no, we're gonna tell him to leave because he needs to go home. Turn off the music and we're gonna have her take a shower before she gets to work. And we're pretty close to getting a promotion. I've had her working hard um, because I want her to get some money because in the modeling career, you actually have to pay when you start out to like, I guess, be a model. I guess you have to, I don't know, you have to pay. So we were actually losing money, uh, and making only a slight little bit of money. And we need to become better friends with our boss, which I thought we were pretty freaking good friends, but I guess we have to be like best friends with our boss. And this outfit for the modeling career is not working for me so let me take her really quickly into create a sim and we're gonna give her more of a modeling let me see hold on what is her what is her title exactly uh she's a character model um well we're gonna give her an amazing makeover so let's go ahead and take her into create a sim i mean i know she's only level three but she needs to actually look like a model and not look like she's going to what is it the journalism career because I'm pretty sure that's like this is the outfit that they wear in the journalism career like look at this girl she is a mess um she kind of looks similar to uh the black widow that I had uploaded or I had the meet the sim you know sort of similar because she is also a sim that I created a long time ago and I found them on my studio on the sims3.com and I was like oh my god I haven't played with these sims in so long so I added them to my game and here we are I'm playing with playing with them all right let's give her maybe an outfit I didn't mean to go to shoes I have cast and compact form so hopefully this won't take too long because I know it's probably gonna load literally everything but she just doesn't look like a model. Like she looks like she's going in a journalism career and that's not gonna work for me. You know, she needs to she needs to look the part for me to actually feel like she's in the modeling career. So we're probably gonna give her a dress of some sort, I would guess. Um, I don't know what we could possibly give her, but I just want her to look more model. <laughs> more of the model. Like this is, this is too much because she's not quite there yet. You know, she's, she's only a level three. She's not quite, she's not quite that fancy. She, no, we're, we're not quite there yet, but that does look good on, good on her, but we're not there yet. I've got this, which is really cute. Um, I think I actually have this dress in red as her formal wear. Um, but like I said, she's only level three, so she, I don't want her to be super fancy just yet because she's not quite at that status, except I don't really have anything that's just like chill, you know, like some of this stuff. I don't know. Let me see. I kind of like that other dress that I had her in. Mm. Let me see. Okay, honey, you need to put those things away because that's a little bit much. I always love this dress. I don't know why I think that is so cute. Um... Hmm. What is this guy? Oh, that's, oh, I love this one. That's what, uh, I had in the Supernatural. Or oh, that's what she wore for work. Mm, what is this guy? 
No, I don't know. And I don't want to spend like forever and create a sim, but I want her to wear something that is more modeling. I'm wearing, I don't know. I don't even know what models wear. Like, why would I even think I would know? <laughs> why? I don't know. Um, can we give her this in a different color, maybe? Let's see. So the colors are kind of like there. Um, she had on this like really pretty like red color. Uh, let's just kind of go with that maybe. Um, yeah, I think ooh, the blue is kind of nice too. Um, let's do like a red color like this. Let's get her some better shoes. Get these glasses off of her for sure. Oh my goodness. She's also a very girly girl sim. Uh, I don't ever make sims that are like super girly girl. Like, I guess I kind of do, but not really. I don't know. Uh, I kind of fell in love with these shoes. It looks wonky right now, but when it's in game, I just, I don't know what it is about them, but I love them. Okay, we're gonna, can we, can we have them, can we have them match a little bit? Maybe, possibly. Um, I guess that's about as matchy matchy as we're gonna get. It doesn't look like it really changed the color, but that is okay. We're just gonna roll with it. And then, like I said, we're gonna take these glasses off and then give her her lashes, her beautiful lashes. Um, let me see. I think I had these and I had the second pair. There we go. And then we're gonna get those, the, I mean, the, the earrings aren't awful. But I am taking them off. <laughs> We're not doing this. We're taking them off. So if you could possibly load a little bit quicker, that would be great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, we can give her like maybe some of these. That's fine. She can wear some earrings. Uh, do we have like a nice... Okay, I don't know why it was saying she had those on. Anyways, that was really weird. Let's see if we have like a nice little necklace. I had on something... Mm, I think it might have been this guy. Um, that'll that'll actually work. I'm not too upset with that. Maybe we can change this color to like white or something. There we go. That's fine. I think she is absolutely freaking beautiful. I don't think you guys saw her everyday wear, so I'm gonna show you really quickly before I exit here because I just want to show you how cute she is. But I'm hoping she'll get a promotion today. That will be pretty dang exciting. All right, girl, let's let's show them how cute you are. But I just made her like more girly and feminine. Like I know a lot of my Sims are girly and feminine, but not like I don't know. She's just like super cutesy, and I don't know. She's got this big old ring because she is pretending that she is like super rich and stuff but she's not so yeah I think she is absolutely adorable I still need to make the thumbnail for this which is insane because I usually make the thumbnail before I film most of the time sometimes when it comes to current households um but I also need to oh I found my my Christmas intro and outro because I'm not like super creative so I just kind of use the same ones over and over so until I can, you know, find someone that will make them for me and that I can pay to do that. <laughs> when a girl doesn't have money, we just kind of got to, we kind of roll with it. So <laughs> there is that. All right, we're going to send her off to work and I'm going to speed through it and hopefully, okay, she's super close so she doesn't really need to work hard. I might actually have her um, stay fit because in the modeling career, you need to keep your athletic um, skill up. So because obviously, like, models have to be, like, a size negative. So <laughs> we're going to have her do a little bit of that. Why does it keep telling me three of the crowd? Blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't understand. So she makes 25 simoleons per hour, which is interesting. Oh, there's our friend Jesse. He's he's one of our coworkers. Um, she makes 25 simoleons per hour, but I don't think she really gets... A lot of it. There's our another. There's our other friend. Oh, there's our boss. Okay, everybody's late except for us. We are actually on time. She's actually hungry too. Uh, I just think it's kind of interesting that she's really good friends with her boss, and we can't even like suck up to our boss in this, uh, this um career, which is kind of annoying. So we have to kind of literally make our friendships outside of work. <laughs> I'm not good with that in real life. Like when I leave work, I leave work. Like. I don't have work friends. Like, no, I, that's, I'm not about that life. So I'm, I'm not about that life in The Sims 3 either. Also, what was I looking at earlier? Hold on. 
I know this is extremely random, but I was like over here in in this little area and I was like, oh my freaking God, like look how beautiful this is. Like it's, it's like a fall freaking dream in Aurora skies. Like this is so gorgeous. I can't even deal with it. Uh, I just had to share that because I always share things that I probably shouldn't. Not that I shouldn't, but that you guys don't really care. Uh, so she made 120 20 simoleons today. Why did I click on that? Make a new outfit, um, buy something worth at least. Oh, oh, we got a promotion. Yay. Um, so we are now a print model and we got a bonus of 300 simoleons. Congratulations, you are now a print model. This is a great time to build up your model portfolio, which is important to building up your modeling career. All of the practice, all that practicing posing in front of the mirror will pay off. Let me tell you, this girl is constantly in front of the mirror, like, because she's a snob and stuff. So she is constantly in front of the mirror. It's kind of embarrassing. Uh, you now get paid for posing for pictures and looking good. You have to find the best angle of your face and you shouldn't blink when the camera flashes. And you should know the body position that will make your body look taller and longer while maintaining grace. You feel the emotion so you can project what the clients are looking for. So she makes 30 simoleons per hour and works 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. I do not want her to go home. I want her to actually go out. But I want her to invite out somebody new. Um, let's invite... Oh, is he, is he around? Is he around or something? I wanted her to invite somebody else out. Um, I was also going to say something else, but it has left my mind because <laughs> it's me. Let's be real. Um, it says we can't invite him out because he's got to be around here somewhere, right? Is he is he over here at the store, maybe? No. Ooh, we should dumpster dive. I'm going to have her dumpster dive since she is a gatherer. We're going to have her go ahead and do that really quickly. And then maybe we can get Tyrone to hang out or something. Um, I'm assuming he's around here somewhere since we can't invite him out. That's the only... Thing I can think of. What is his job? Do we even know his job? Okay, now we can invite him out. So maybe we'll only dumpster dive twice because this girl needs some money in her life. She is like a very materialistic sim. She needs money. She wants to spend money on the finer things and we don't have the money to do that. She wants to be able to get to the point where we can have not a maid, but like the butler and, you know, someone to take care of everything for us, someone to cook for us, like all of that. That is, that is her dream. Now she's going to be stinky. I'm so sorry, girl, but you know, you know, it's going to be okay. Hopefully she finds some good stuff. She found a couple of good things, so I'm excited about that. We're just going to have to stink and hopefully Tyrone won't hate us too much. But again, we're not too worried about being serious. We're just worried about that woohoo. <laughs> Which I can assume she's not pregnant because we're not like sick or anything like that. So that's good because I'm not quite ready. I also need to turn on the celebrity system because I think that would go pretty good with the modeling. So let me see really quickly because my, I, my, my computer updated and everything kind of started over. I had to fix all of my stuff again. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's over here, isn't it? Um, we're going to go ahead and allow celebrities and check this box. I believe I'm being told something. Okay. We're going to, we're going to allow celebrities because I think that would go great with the whole fact of her being a model and stuff like that. So also having a celebrity status, because of course she would want that, you know, you get sent free stuff and things like that. And she would absolutely love that. Like that's what she's about. Like she wants to live that lavish lifestyle and she doesn't have the means to do it just yet, but she, that's, that's her dream. Okay. We're in gonna, and we're gonna words, we're going to invite him out and we're going to go over here, I, I placed down Bee's Bolorama because why not? But we're going to go to the casino and maybe spend a little bit of money there. We did pretty good last night. We were doing bad. And then all of a sudden we hit that jackpot and got 3,000 simoleons. We have only 10 simoleons left. So we did pretty good. Um, Cool. He's going to meet us there. Alrighty. Usually when I do current households, I have like a bunch of photos to send you guys or to send you <laughs> Let me just send you all my photos, you guys. Uh, I usually have photos to place at the end of this, but like I said, I just started today. I have absolutely nothing. Um, so we're just gonna, we're gonna just, you know, learn, learn the ways of how she is. You guys can kind of get a feel already of how she is. She's, she's a little diva. So she's pretty much just like the Black Widow. And that's why I loved it. Because I was like, oh my god, I love that sim. I love her personality. And I love that. I don't know. And I just kind of wanted to make a sim like that. So that's what we kind of did. We're going to ignore this call. Because honestly, it doesn't matter. 
Oh my goodness. I wonder if he needs to be reset or something. He got hung up on something. Well, you know what? We're just going to move on down the line and we're going to invite Kenneth Finn over, which is another sim that, you know, you guys have probably seen a bajillion times because I placed them all down in these worlds. He's going to come over. Perfect. So while we're waiting for him, we're going to come over here and we're going to order a drink. Let's get... Wait, why can't we... We can only order one type of drink. Okay. Okay. Maybe I need to change the lot type. I don't know. That's a little interesting. Who are you? Bjorn. Bjorn. Bjorn Beaker. Ooh, okay. Hold on. Are you a rich guy? Because we might be able to wiggle with you a little bit. He's like, oh, yes, me? Okay. Okay. So we're going to get a drink and we're going to see if we can maybe win some money, hang out with Kenneth Finn. Kenneth Finn was a sim that was... um created through story progression i'm telling you guys if you like your story progression to be on and you want like your offspring like the people that move into the town to not be vanilla faced and to be like if you have them saved to your bin whenever you start up the game uh they will just like randomly generate sims that are like in your bin so they're like your sims and you know they can come out pretty attractive some of them can come out looking a little wonky but most of the time they do a pretty good job and you know they're not just all looking like this you know what i mean so that's pretty exciting if you guys want to know how to do that let me know and i will try to i will try to explain it to you guys actually you know i think i've explained it to you guys before but i can show you really quickly so in raw's story progression and then general options options lots and then you have to um enable immigration and you have to place like put a number i think i put like 15 or something like that and then oh god sorry this will pop up and then it says chance of bin offspring and i just put a huge ass number so that all that you get is a bin offspring like that's what comes into your town um and then you can also like if you want more men or women you can change the uh gender and then also immigrant names so it's not like the hyphenated names you can pick mother father older you know whatever um so that's just like a quick way of explaining it if you guys want to know a little bit more about like story progression stuff like that like in depth i can always do a video i don't know a whole, whole lot but i i know enough that i could probably explain some things to you guys so um i don't see kenneth anywhere is he here he must be here. Where are you, my friend? Um, where is he? I don't see him, but he's apparently on this lot somewhere. Too bad that it's fall and it's probably cold. We can't go swimming. I don't see him unless I'm missing him. Is that him over here? Here he is. Okay, he must work in the medical career. So let's come over here and kind of greet him. Let's be a little friendly. Let's announce our promotion to him because she is a snob. So of course she's going to want to talk to herself. And it looks like he may have just won a jackpot. So we might really want to go talk to him and see see what he's got going. And this poor girl, she's like stinking up a storm. But you know, hey, we're trying to greet you. We're trying to greet you. Let's see if you win. Are you going to win some money for us? Because... Pay for our drinks and stuff. <laughs> She's like, yes, yes, win money. Oh, I don't think he did. He's pretty upset. He did win something, though, as you guys. Oh, oh, my gosh. Anger problems much? Anger freaking problems much. Can you, are you going to, okay, I was going to say, are you going to acknowledge me or what? He's a very cute sim. His nose is a little interesting, but he is a very cute sim. Um, let's ask if he's single. Apparently we don't know that. Ask his sign. And we're going to ask his alma mater as well. Just to kind of get to know him a little bit and see what's going on. She wants to start... No, we're not worried about... <gasps> she wants to send a love letter to Jeremy Akers. Oh my goodness. He's family oriented. Okay. We might bring you home with us tonight, Kenneth. We might bring you home with us. What do you think about that? What do you think? Oh, their signs are compatible. Girl, you're having some pretty good luck with these dudes. Like, they're into you and, you know, things are things are looking pretty good. But the real question is if you're single here. That's what we want to know. Did we not know? Did we find out? Did it say if he's single? Oh, he's got no partner. <gasps> no partner with story progression on? That's a miracle. Holy freaking guacamole. We're going to admire him a little bit. And I was going to play on this machine, 
but we're gonna go ahead and play over here let's play medium he is in the medicine career i'm sorry this part's probably gonna be super long like I don't know. It's my current household. I love to just play and play, but I also want to play with you guys. I really need to learn how to stream and stuff because I would love to stream and just play my current household just like for an hour or more, like just play with you guys and talk to you guys. But I really need to figure out a setup for that because I'm not super, you guys know that I'm not like electronic smart. So I know we stink, bro. Okay. Like you'll probably still hit it when we get home. Like whatever. Um, oh my gosh, she's got Jeremy on the mind. Like, maybe that's the man she's going to end up with, but he's married. Girl, he's married. You got a single man right here and you're about that. Okay. What did we just win? Ooh, we won 208 simoleons. We're going to just let her play maybe one more time. And I think we're going to invite Kenneth to her house and, and do a little risky woohoo with him and see, see how that goes. Come on, girl. But do you guys see her shoes? I love these shoes. They're so cute. Okay, we didn't do good. Okay, one more time. One more time. We're level four gambling, so maybe we'll do a little better. She's over here kicking her machine too, so. Oh, Gundrum Beaker. So you probably wouldn't like it if we woohooed with your husband. I can only imagine. <laughs> We're over there trying to, like with the husband well we weren't really but like in my head we were okay we're not doing good so we're gonna just say um we're going home but we're gonna go to her house which is over here all the way over here and she's about to play no girl go here with your group look at our house <laughs> our house is a dang mess i believe we have oh we got a trash can right here but we also have one right out here and you know what maybe we'll uh, I was gonna say maybe we'll ask him to stay so she can take a shower and do a risky woohoo in the shower because girl you smelling and I don't know how he's gonna be taking that so let me see can we get a little romantic let's compliment his appearance maybe um and his personality he's super cute he's in the medicine career that's gotta make some money maybe we'll flirt with him let's see how this goes I don't know if this is gonna be good or bad or we'll, we'll have to see we'll have to see can we like this okay we can't because he's not exactly on our lot so that's gonna be a problem all right he doesn't care that we stink like he's fine with it he's he's totally fine with it uh let's do a flirtatious joke we need to get him on our lot so that we can like ask him to stay the night and stuff um let's Give him a Morris hug, maybe. Uh, and let's see. We need to get you on our lot, my friend. You need to take a few steps this way. Okay, our town is full, so I'm going to have to turn off story progression because it really doesn't matter too much. I was just trying to get some sins up in here. Oh, my goodness gracious. These dudes love her, like, for real. They are, like, all about her. But I mean, look at her. Let's ask him to watch the stars. Maybe that will get him onto our lot. Okay, he thinks we're being alluring. We just need you to be on our lot so we can risky woohoo in the shower and then I can wrap it up because it's it's been almost 30 minutes. <laughs> it's been almost 30 minutes, you guys. Oh no. Oh no, is he leaving? Is he leaving? Okay, no. Okay, I was getting a little worried. I was kind of scared. Okay, so we're gonna just do this for a minute. But then we're gonna go ahead... Wait, we're gonna have to ask him to stay because he will he will get like the little voodoo thingy. So we're gonna compliment his appearance and we're going to compliment his personality and we're going to flirt with him and we're going to give him a Morris hug and we're gonna speed on past this. Okay, you don't need to you don't need to watch the stars anymore. We need to get you in bed. <laughs> oh no! Dang it! Dang it. Okay, that did not go as planned. Uh, it's probably because she smells like shit. So I understand. It's totally fine. Uh, we will get you next time. Next time. Next time. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this current household right here. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. My cat is scratching at the door. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about this girl and this household in the comments down below. Leave a like on this video, subscribe before you go, turn on your post notifications so you can be notified when I upload, which is usually every single day except for Sunday, except last week it was not so much and it was Sunday, so you never know what you're going to get on this channel. <laughs> Anyways, I love you guys so very much and I'll see you guys very, very soon.